From Babylon to Timbuktu, the Egyptians. The Egyptians are Africans and descendants of the Hamites. All Hamites are the offspring of their father, Ham. The first Egyptian was called Mizraim, according to the Hebrews, and this Mizraim was the son of Ham in Genesis 10.6. Ancient and modern scholars have established the location of Mizraim as Egypt. The word Mizraim is a plural form, meaning Upper and Lower Egypt. About 3,300 years before the Christian era, Egypt was divided into two kingdoms. A great black pharaoh king named Menes united these two kingdoms by conquest. The later pharaohs wore dynastic insignia on their crown, the snake of Lower Egypt and the hawk of Upper Egypt representing a time when Egypt was divided. These subsequent pharaohs held the title of a king of Upper and Lower Egypt. Egypt was united. Her navy went out into the Mediterranean and traded with the inhabitants of the coastal towns and islands such as Crete and Cyprus. Thousands of years ago, the Egyptians established powerful governments and built empires that extended in all directions. They even held dominion over their Canaanite brothers in Palestine for a long period of time. These black Egyptians were proficient in mathematics, medicine, engineering, and agriculture. They used geometry to resurvey the land every year after the Nile River overflowed. Pythagoras, the Greek math mathematician, learned mathematics from the black Egyptians. By the way, algebra came from the black Arabs. The word algebra came from the Arabic word algebra, and it means the science of equations. When the black Moors conquered Spain and Portugal, they carried algebra into Europe. And Mizram begat Ludim and Anamim and Lehabim and Nephtuim, and Patrusim, and Kalutim, out of whom Philistim, or the Philistines, and Kephthorim. When Mizraim begat his children, they dwelled in Egypt, except the Kephthorim and Philistines, which inhabited the island of Crete in the Mediterranean Sea. In remote ancient times, the people not only of Asia and Africa were black, but also the people of the southern European lands on the Mediterranean Sea. The black races that controlled the commerce and established colonies on the Mediterranean were the Phoenicians and the Philistines. Herbert went in his book, It Began in Babel, says that Crete was a dominant power during and up to the second century BC. This Cretan power could have been no other than part of the Phoenician Carthaginian Empire because the city of Carthage did not fall until the year 146 BC. Where did European civilization and culture begin? Scholars say that it came from Africa and Asia through Crete. Investigators consider Crete to be the birthplace of European culture. There are many myths surrounding the island of Crete. One is, it was to Crete that Zeus, father of the gods, abducted the Phoenician princess Europa and there followed three sons upon her. Zeus came in the form of a white bull and abducted a black princess because the Phoenicians were a black people. Some scholars believe that before the Indo-European penetration of Southern Europe and Asia, Greece was called Europe. Most likely some Cretans settled in Greece. Herbert Wendt says that the, the name Europe is derived from the Semitic word Edeb. He said that the ancient Asiatics considered the word Edeb to be something dark, ignorant, and mysterious, and therefore Europe was the dark part of the earth. A social cataclysm or earthquake struck the island of Crete and destroyed its capital at Nosos about 2000 BC. These black Philistines migrated from Kaphtor, Crete, to the land of Canaan and settled along the southern coast of Palestine. The land of Palestine gets its name from the Philistines who inhabited that region.